What if I told you there was a program out there that's gonna make your community have a lot more fun and make you a much more engaging streamer? What if I could also promise you that it's gonna help you get things like followers, regulars, subscribers, bits, donations, and more. Sound way too good to be true? It is not. It's called Voice Mod, and I'm gonna show you all the cool things that you need to know about it so that way you can take your stream to the next level. Let's go. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the product or the service I'm talking about, did you all a favor? Put links in the show notes below, so make sure you check them out. If you're not familiar with Voice Mod, allow me to catch you up really quick. It's a platform slash program that allows you voice modulation. Essentially, you can change your voice to different characters and styles for a bunch of different things for content creation and live streaming. Heck, you can even use it in Discord. So if you're on stream, you can change your voice to a fun little robot just like this here and have some fun engaging content on your channel. Now the cool thing about Voice Mod is they went ahead and opened up an app on Streamlabs OBS. So it just got better because now you can assign voice styles and character styles to actions that are executed on your channel. So for example, if you were to get a subscriber, you can have your voice change to be something that's a little more darker or more foreboding. Perhaps you wanna sound like a little more like a jigsaw within your channel. Or let's say somebody reached in their pocket and gave you some bits or a huge donation. You can have fun high pitched voice effects to make engagement that much more on your channel and essentially People are getting something for now when they donate time or even bits or money to your channel, which means it can have a nice snowball effect. So I'm glad we're all caught up and you have an understanding of how it can benefit and even help you monetize your stream. So let's go over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to configure the program and how to use it flawlessly. So that way you can start using it right now. Let's go. The first step you need to do within Streamlabs OBS is go to the app store from there. Go to the search section and just type in voice mod and it will auto populate and click and install this. Now my voice mod may look a little different because I am in the beta version, but just click the install and you will be good to rock and roll. Once voice mod is installed in your Streamlabs OBS, we have to install the background application directly from voice mod itself. You can click on the page here. Mine is already connected, but if it doesn't redirect you here, make sure you go to the address that I put on the bottom of the screen right here. So that way you can download the program. So that way you can have access to all the voices. Once the application is all installed, you will see this page here, which will offer all the free voices that are in rotation at that moment. Or if you bought the pro version, you will have access to everything, plus a few more things that we can talk about a little bit later in this video. But to get rocking and rolling really quick, we need to configure this voice mod application. To do so, go over to the left cogwheel here and click settings. Now we need to pick an input and an output device. For me, I am currently talking through my blue Yeti Pro, which you can see here. Make sure you select the proper microphone or proper input device you're using. Just a little side note, if you're talking through a microphone that's going into a mixer or a preamp or anything like that, make sure you select the correct input device so that way this program will recognize it. Next, select your output device. This could be your headphones or speakers or whatever you're using. Right now, mine are just going to my headphones. And if you continue to scroll down, you will see the advanced settings. I recommend playing with these at your own time because these are really cool. They have some things that help with popping or just mic exclusive, or you can even set up hotkeys or shortcut keys for like your Elgato or anything on a numpad. So that way you can do cool effects at just a fun little keystroke at a moment's notice. So play around with those when you get a free moment. And there you go. It was that easy to set up the application for the voice mod for the in and out. Now we have to tell Streamlabs OBS to recognize the correct sources of everything that's coming in. So that way the voice modulations can happen in real time time and to do that we first want to go up to our cog wheel which is our settings for streamlabs obs and click on that and go over to the tab that is called audio when audio is all selected 
we want to concern ourselves with our mic input devices. You may have multiple mics or you may have mixers or certain things like that. Make sure you change the correct one that you need. For most of you, it would be set to the default of whatever your main microphone is. For example, my Blue Yeti Pro would normally be selected here. But to get the program to work, you want to make sure you select the voice mod program here. So that way everything can happen with the changes in real time. Go ahead and select that and click done. Now everything is perfectly configured and we can start changing the settings that we need to do within Streamlabs OBS. So let's go over to general settings here and now you can start making all the necessary adjustments that you wanna have for reactions depending on the type of event that may happen. So now you can configure certain actions for donations or bits or for a follow or a subscription or host. For this tutorial right here, we're only gonna concern ourselves with subscriptions. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and now I get to select whatever I want. Now, just to let you know, I have Voice Mod Pro, so I have access to more voices. I recommend taking a look at doing the Pro version, so that way you can play around with it. But let's just say I wanna go with, Dark is a really fun one. So I'm gonna do Dark, which makes my voice be a little bit deeper and have a lot more of a bassy tone to it. So now when someone subscribes to me, my voice will actually change. So if I went over to the live editor here, we can now add in a voice mod reaction. You can already see I have one here, which you can see my voice going up and down here within the levels. But let me show you how to add this from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and we're gonna add in a brand new one. Go to the plus sign and since we're adding an app, go over to the right hand side and add in the app that is voice mod reactions. Click on this and add it as a source. You can rename it if you so choose, but I like to leave it as voice mod so I know what it is. Now with this all set up, you don't have to really concern yourself with the dimensions just yet. We'll get to this in just a little bit, but it comes with this cool little overlay that'll show you in real time what voice is currently being used on your stream video player. Now that we have the voice mod reaction all set up, let's go ahead and test a subscription. You can click the bottom button here, and now when my subscription goes off here, and it does my fun little action of I have for an alert and a gif and a sound, you will notice in the top right corner that my voice has gone through a voice change. And that's where these voice modulations come into a real fun, actionable spot. Now it's completely up to you on what kind of voices you wanna use or which ones you wanna set actions to. And you can do a bunch of different things here. You can do different amounts for donations and you can have different lengths, which are easy to understand, which is really cool that Voice Mod made this so easy. Like I said before, there's a little overlay section here that you can play around with that'll show you different actions that are happening on your channel. If you like to make adjustments to the overlay, simply click on the overlay button. From here, you can choose to show like a little banner or be stacked on top or just the bot. I personally like just the little bot so you can see what action is taking course when somebody does something. And of course, you can customize the message that you'd like to have within inside the overlay itself. Now, if you use chatbot, you can enable your chatbot to actually have a timed message that voice mod grants access to. Depending on how many minutes pass, you can set the slider here and you can go all the way up to 30 or down to as low as you want. Pick something that's not gonna be too intrusive. It'll populate a message within your chat channel here. And this will allow newcomers to your channel or lurkers or regulars or people that want to support your channel. It'll let them know that you have all these special actions that can occur at certain donation amounts or bit donations amounts or certain followers or hosts or subscriptions and you can label them here. And it also allows you to do custom text if you so choose. And it's really cool that they give you this option. That way it'll help you get the chance to monetize your channel more with maybe getting a little more snowballing of bits coming in or follows or hosts or subscribers or whatever your little heart desires. Now let's say you have an awesome stream and you get a lot of donations and bits and there's a lot of sound effects that are queued up or coming in or perhaps you have a setting where if you get a hundred dollar donation you have a really long voice effect. But what if you want to stop that voice effect because you need to talk about something serious? Well if you go to the queue here it'll show you all the 
voices that are queued up within the channel. And at any point, you can pause and it'll go back to your normal voice. This way you can address what you need to do. And then when you're good and ready, you can re-queue up back the voices that you need. Now, if I've interest you on using voice mod through Streamlabs OBS, currently on the app page, it looks like it's gonna cost you about $2 per month to use. I do not know if this is the final price, if it'll go up or go down, because I do know on Voice Mods actual website, they have free versions and then they also have a pro version and you can buy lifetime subscriptions at a discount. So we'll have to pay attention to see how this will actually work on their site, but it looks like at the moment around $2 a month is what they're asking for. Now, if you're not a fan of Streamlabs OBS, that's okay, Voice Mod has got you covered. You can use their platform on a host of different broadcasting softwares out there. You can use it on XSplit, OBS, Muxy, Player.me. The options are endless, and I've actually done a video on that. If you'd like to know how to use your Elgato Stream Deck for anything that wants to use voice mod or how to just use the program in general, you can take a look at the top right corner. I'll show you how to use it there. It's a great video. I recommend checking it out. But Streamlabs at the moment has the most access for all the different actions out there. But good news is that voice mod let me know that they're working on a new SDK. So I imagine they're gonna have a lot more actions coming out in the future. So that's good news for all you OBS and other broadcasting softwares out there. And when you have these cool, unique styles on your stream that people don't see anywhere else, it creates these fun snowball effects where people are more likely to follow or come back to your channel. Heck, they'll even subscribe because they love the content that you're generating. Or the fact that you have something so unique that people are willing to dive into their pockets to send bits or even send you donations because they want to see the unique voices that can be triggered at different amounts. Voice Mod was a dope program that got even better. It's actually kind of really cool, the changes that they made, and I hope that they keep continuing to introduce new features so that way people will continue to use the platform that it is because it opens up a whole host for different character streamers out there or just unique ways to monetize your content. I would like to thank Voice Mod for sponsoring this video and granting me access to the beta. So very soon, you all will have access coming to this really cool app really soon inside Streamlabs OBS. So thank you, Voice Mod, for making a really cool app for all of us. If you all like this video and you wanna see more videos on other extensions or apps that's gonna help you grow or monetize your content, you know what to do. Leave me a comment below and I will be more than happy to make a video on that. Don't forget to like and share and retweet this with all your friends. And if you wanna help me in this channel grow, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and also subscribe to this channel. And if you like what you see here, you're definitely gonna like what you see on over at twitch.tv slash wild for games, where you can even hit that almighty subscribe button. I will see you all next time in my next stream support video coming up real soon. Take care all and peace.